the advice I'd give farmers who want to start selling to schools is to treat them like um, a new account or like a restaurant account and make cold calls. Uh, call their local school district, call their uh, food service director, tell them who they are, what they're interested in, ask them if they're doing anything with farm to school or local produce. Uh, the fresh fruits and vegetables will probably ring in their ear. Um, and try to set up a meeting and, and present what you've got, when you've got it, what your prices are, just exactly like you would for a restaurant account or another wholesale account. Frequent communication is key. That, that, uh, particularly for us, our, our availability changes through the season, and that's why we update it twice a week. Uh, but to keep them online with what's coming, what's really good, what you've got a lot of, um, what's happening in the fields, that it makes it a much more much more real to them, and they turn around and promote that to their to their students, and they get, you know, that that that's their end customer. They have to to get them to buy in, and then they eat the stuff, and it works. They certainly buy the most of the standard, the staples, but they're really excited to have something new, something interesting to show the kids, because that's if they can catch their their attention with it, then they'll eat it, and they continue to eat it even when this local season's over. We deliver to each school. That's a real um, labor savings for them, and that, that's one of the things that helps make it work. Um, the invoicing, we, do, we leave an invoice when we do the delivery, just like everybody else. They pay them. They usually, once they get started, they pay about once a month, but it takes a while for us to get into their system. Um, but they've all, you know, it's, they buy a lot. They're good customers. They, they pay regularly. It's, it works works fine. If school, local schools went into buying local produce full on, there wouldn't be any for anybody else. They would take it all. Um, but the, you know, the, I think a lot of people are concerned that they're going to have to cut their prices. And what I've found is that they, the schools are willing to pay the, the same price as everybody else. They get, um, they get the same service. They get the same product. Uh, they pay the same price. And the way they're able to do it is by cost savings in their, in their program. They offer rather than serve so they can offer the kids half of an entree. They save a lot of money with that so they can afford better produce. The most surprising thing is actually how excited the, the cooks and cook supervisors are. They're so excited to, see, to work with local products and to get the stuff in. They're, they're um, I don't know, bubbling over with enthusiasm for it. The big thing in, in local food is CSA. I think the coming big thing is going to be farm to school. Every, every small farm exists in a school district and it's a great local market. There's a lot of kids, they eat a lot of meals. Uh, I think it's going to be the next, the next big thing for local food.